Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Um, I've decided from now on I am going to try and um, do reviews, only short reviews because I'm not great at doing reviews. Um, I did a test one for Free Guy um, and I was happy with how that went. So I've decided from now on I am going to review all the new releases that I see. Whether they're 2 minute reviews, 5 minute reviews, however long they are. Just to get my thoughts across on the film itself. And tell you whether I think you should watch it or not. If you um, haven't seen it already. Um, this particular review is for The Courier. Which stars um, Benedict Cumberbatch as Greville Wynn. Who... Basically, just to give you a brief synopsis, it's set in 1960 during the Cold War, and he basically plays a businessman who is roped in between the MI6 and CIA to go and basically be a spy um, for them over in Russia. And he doesn't know this to start with, but then he starts clicking on and knowing what he is actually doing, because he is basically just a courier between this Russian spy um, who's trying to get all the information from Russia out, leak out, because he doesn't agree with what they're doing. Um, and Benedict Cumberbatch's character, Greville Wynn, is basically just the in-between. He basically sends the messages to and from each place. He's like, as I say, the courier. Um, and it's just basically about um, them trying not to be caught and what actually happens. Um, and yeah, um, I will say my general thoughts, um, I wasn't as impressed as I thought I would be. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't a bad film. I'd probably still give it three stars. Um, but it didn't hold my attention for what it should have done. Um, really, it, the first half an hour and the last half an hour were the bits that held my attention the most I what I was on the edge of my seat in the last half an hour and the first half an hour was really interesting as well um but the middle bit was just a bit slow it dragged a little bit um the acting from Benedict Cumberbatch um is fantastic um I am unfamiliar with the actor's name who played the Russian spy I believe the um real person's I think his name's Oleg Pashnikov, but I may have got that wrong, so I apologise if I got that wrong. But I thought he was really good. I thought they worked together really well. Um, and the good thing with this film is, even though it's a true story, and you know what happens at the end, well, unless you obviously have no idea of what happens, if, but if you have a general... Because you can know. It's not like a fictional film where you have no clue what anything could happen at the end. It felt like that in this film. It felt like anything could happen. You were still afraid for the characters. You still were on the edge of your seat for the characters. Even though you know what the end result is. If you know about this story. Um, but it was an interesting film. Um, I like historical films. Especially when it's British historical films. And I thought it was a very interesting film. I thought it was very well done. As I said I thought the casting was excellent. Um... But the reason I've dropped it down quite a bit is because it did drag quite a bit in the middle. And I did lose quite a lot of my attention. And, um, yeah, that was mainly it. I thought the film itself was really interesting. The story was interesting. Um, most of the film I liked, but it was just that bit in the middle. If that bit in the middle wasn't as slow as it was, my rating would be higher. But um, i definitely probably put it at 3 stars out of 5. <clears throat> um, but yeah, overall it's a good film and if you are interested in watching this film, if you're interested in your biographical films, British films, war films, anything like that, if you like Benedict Cumberbatch, then I would definitely recommend checking it out. You may not find the middle as boring as I did, that's just me personally, you may enjoy the whole film, but um, I just thought the middle dragged a bit, but that's just me personally, I still overall thought it was a good film. But yeah, if you've seen the film, let me know what you think of it down below. Well, that is it. So only a short video today. So if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. If for some reason you didn't like the video, then by all means give it a dislike. But if you do choose to dislike it, I would appreciate it if you let me know why down in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And turn your notification bell on so you want to have a new video uploaded onto the channel. 
um, and comment down below anything everything I get back to anyone that takes the time to leave me a comment because I do really appreciate it and I love interacting with everybody that watches my videos whether it be subscribers or people that just happen, happen to stumble across a particular video I still enjoy commenting and interacting with everyone but that is it so until next time everyone take care goodbye